Disaster. What is up guys, Disaster here at Arcade Disaster, the place where we play games, and today, being in October, scariest month of the year, I thought we'd play some scary games. Now, most of the time, uh, during these holiday type sessions, uh, you know, people like to play games that everyone's seen and heard of, Castlevania, uh, you know, Freddy Krueger, Jason, Michael Myers games on the different consoles and stuff. And so I, I was trying to play something a little different and I found it really hard to find different kinds of games. So um, instead of playing a game right here in this particular video, I'm gonna kind of give you a preview of what I think would be cool of us to try to do. So this is the Castlevania Anniversary Collection. So basically what it is, is that there are a bunch of Castlevania games within this one game to where you can learn the lore and understand everything about Castlevania. Now I'm gonna be honest with you and tell you that I had Castlevania back in the day on the Nintendo and it was the most frustrating ass game that I've ever played in my lifetime. Um, I don't know if it was because I was eight, I don't know if it was just because the game is that difficult, but Castlevania is a really, really tough series for me, and I've played some tough games. Um, Mega Man was a tough series, Legend of Zelda was a tough series, and Castlevania, in my opinion, was the worst. Now, I love uh, the movies, Count Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolf, you know, Wolf Monster Man, all that kind of stuff, the Aqua Man, Black Lagoon Dude, all those scary movies. Uh, but none of those compare to the fear that I felt when I knew that I had to pop this cartridge in and try to play it. And I can explain to you in one word why. It's every time you get hit, you get knocked backwards. And half the time when you get knocked backwards, there's a pit, there's some kind of something that instantaneously kills you, meaning that you have to start all the way over at the beginning of wherever you started from. So just to be prudent, I tried to play a little bit and that is exactly what happened. I got frustrated within the first like four or five minutes because I just, I kept dying. It sucked so bad. Uh, but let's take a look at Castlevania Anniversary Collection. I will be playing this on, uh, I don't know, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. It is October. We should be doing some spooky games. And what I'm going to honestly try to do is find some other spooky games to play for you guys because I, I'm sure you've either played or seen Castlevania at some point. And if I'm going to play Castlevania, I want to play my favorite Castlevania, which is Symphony of the Night, which is on the PlayStation. I love that game. I'm sure a lot of people love it too. So I just want to kind of take a look through, uh, you know, this collection just to see what all they give you, just to get you abreast and into the mood for October Spook Fest with disaster. You see what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and cut right to Castlevania, the anniversary collection. Bam. Oh my God. Oh, let me stop. Jesus, they was going in on this. Oh my God, that's why Castlevania was so raw back in the day. The beats was so crazy. Just like Mega Man 2, when they was cut up the building, they start hitting you with the beat. Oh, bitch. Yeah, this shit nice right here. Wow, that was loud. That shit, that scared me right there, just the sounds. All right, so basically, Castlevania 1987. Uh, Transylvania, a small peaceful uh, country in the heart of medieval Europe. The people of Transylvania whisper the legend of Dracula to their children at bedtime, only half believing it to be true. The forces of good keep a watchful eye over the land, protecting all who live there. But even during the constant vigil, the forces of evil manage to prevail once every century. Every time this happens, human beings with evil hearts begin to chant unspeakable prayers. This is Dracula, the Prince of Darkness, resurrected upon the face of the earth, and each time he is manifested, his powers grow stronger. Once, long ago, Dracula was indeed revived in this manner, 
However, his ambitions to plunge the world into darkness and build a kingdom of evil were crushed by the hero Christopher Belmont. Following Dracula... Really? Following Dracula's demise at the hands of Christopher Belmont, the Transylvanian countryside slept peacefully for a hundred years. I did not know that. I just thought it was just back to back. Like he just kept coming back and doing all kind of crazy shit. Uh, then one Easter night, the townspeople were celebrating in the joyous holiday uh, uh, with a splendid carnival. But then the words disappeared and now the bitch got to scroll back up because I can't read the shit because it's underneath the staff credit parts with the X button on the scene. What the hell? Okay, anyway. I'm not gonna read all that. I'm not gonna read it again. Not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna look at it. I'm gonna tell you what I remember from playing these games. So Castlevania was hard as shit. I've had all these games. Castlevania was harder than shit. Like, like literally every single time. You know what? Let's play a little Castlevania. I'm gonna give you a little taster. A little taster of each one of these little motherfuckers. Cause, cause this shit is ridiculous. Watch replay here. Yeah, watch. No, no. Why can't I watch the replay? All right, that's okay. That's all right. We're going to push the star key. We're going to check this out just a little bit. Okay, look. Look. It's coming up to the castle. We're going to look. Oh! It's a castle. What is that going across the moon, bitch? Oh, look at that. Heart. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. I remember this. Oh. Oh, 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 I got the knife gig. Always got to get the knife. The knife is super important. Oh, the little mummies. Oh, look out. Ah, bop, bop, mm, bop, bang. Oh, my God. I, can't, I remember how much I used to love this. Look out. Bow. You try to get me, bitch. I done played this game since I was little. Mm, ah, mm, ah, mm, mm, ah, 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 oh, you got me. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh. Man, I don't know about you, but this is just nostalgia. I love it, man. Uh. Uh, kill all of them. Uh. Let me get up these stairs real quick. Here's another thing I didn't like about this game. When you're on the stairs, you can't whip. You can't do nothing. You just gotta take damage, and if you take damage, you may die. Isn't that wonderful? Put, put something in the game where I can't protect myself. They give you a whip and then you can't do nothing with it while you're on the stairs. That's crazy. Bop, look out. Uh, 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 uh. This part sucked too with the fishmen that would jump all out the water. You gotta, you gotta have, you gotta have those lightning thumbs, baby. Bam! Look out. Bam! Oh, bam! Whoa, whoa. Look out. Uh oh. I'm starting to get into it. Oh shit. I'm starting to feel my, my, uh, my inner Castlevania coming back. Oh, damn it. Look out now. Look, look out. Wait, can you attack on the stairs, bitch? Wait a minute. You can! Oh my god, if you stop moving on the stairs, you can attack! Oh my god! I don't think I ever knew that! Look out. Oh, we might have to beat the first boss up in this bitch. Oh, sh I was trying to keep this video short. Oh, boy. Oh, the nostalgia's get me, though. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, got the axe. Is what we need to kill the boss? Oh, bam, there he is right there in the ceiling. See him? See that black bat right there? I'm gonna kick his ass. It should be a yup. Mm-hmm. Look at that real quick. Get that out you. Bop. 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 Look out. Bop. 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 Oh, bitch. Look out. Bop. Bop. Uh-oh. Bam. Look at that. First boss. Done. Alright, so we're gonna hop out. I have to say, that was absolutely awesome. I love this game. Castlevania, you know what? I might end up playing Castlevania again for you guys. Just because I like it so much. The game is so fantastic. But we're gonna move on. We're gonna check out uh, some more of uh, the Castlevania Anniversary Collection's goodness. So this is, this is part two. This is Simon's quest. So Simon is the son of... Uh, Trevor. I, 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 wait, is that Trevor? Is it Trevor, right? Right? Trevor? Christopher. Right, Christopher. Christopher Belmont. 
So Simon is the Simon is the one that we like most notably know for kicking Dracula's ass because he's in Simon's Quest Two, he's in Dracula's Cursed, he's in I think Super Castlevania Four. Um, yeah, he's just all over the place. He's got all the skills. He can do all kind of crazy shit. But uh, let's go ahead and check out a little bit of Simon's Quest. I just want to look at it real quick. Uh, just run through, uh, GameStar, please don't do that. I, I, I really didn't like, uh, Simon's Quest 2. All right. So I don't know if a lot of you know, I used to be a musician, and a lot of these old beats and stuff uh, is, is really kind of how I got into wanting to create music, because just, I mean, you just listen to them, it's like, oh, listen to this, you hear this? Oh, duh, 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 duh. Oh, oh, look at this. We gotta make our way to the castle. All right, now this was, oh, look out. Hey, bitch. Oh. Damn, this should be rocking. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, bitch. Duh. I hated this part with this damn fish. Bitch, get out of here. Cause you gotta jump across here and make sure they don't hit your ass. Cause they do. Guess where you're going? Right in this damn hole. Mmm, bitch. Mmm, bitch. Look out. I ain't no damn Castlevania newbie. Uh. Uh, I think I think legitimately I've played every Castlevania there is to play. The ones on Game Boy I played. Oh no! What a horrible night to have a night, a curse. Yeah. So in this one, uh, he is I guess supposedly cursed, and it makes the enemy stronger. I forgot about that. All right. Oh, oh, bitch. Look out. Bop, bop, bop. Oh shit, bop. I'm doing horrible. Oh. Um, oh, was there something I had to do here? Fucking jump across? I don't remember. Oh, da -da 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 -da. oh I love this shit. Look out. Look out. Hey. Oh, bitch. I got murdered. Hey, why, why would they put me on the pedestal with this? Oh, damn it. Oh, really? Oh! Mm. All right. Dracula's Curse. So, uh... I have the least amount of memories of Dracula's Curse. Uh, it was the one that was not as eventful for me, but just because it just wasn't super sweet to me. I just like I I was playing the Castlevania games, so I was like, why don't I? I mean, I have to have it. I can't just not play it. If I played one and two, I gotta get three. That was the mindset back in like the '80s when you were playing these Castlevania games. I have played one or two. I have to play three, or else I'm not truly a fan. So I, I went ahead and, uh, you know, I guess my mom purchased it. Maybe I purchased it when I was young. I'm not sure. Uh, but I have the least amount of memories of this. So I, I this is gonna be bad. And in my name, come on now, just let's play. This shit is sexy, bitch. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I think the cool thing about this one is like they have branching paths. Like you could you could do this. Oh, yeah, you could do uh, you know, you can like go up the stairs and take one way, or go through a like you know down the stairs a different way, and it just it made the game um cool. Damn, chain long as hell, bitch. Uh, it made the game dope because you could uh. You, it's always almost like choose your own adventure kind of thing, if that's what you want to call it. 
uh, it definitely wasn't Choose Your Own Adventure, but it was awesome. And, I'm, and I, I know you see me ripping these walls. Like, there's pork chops in the walls. You know, sometimes, you know, if you get hungry, you gotta get a pork chop out the wall. You know what I'm saying? I think the problem is back on this one. Okay, no, if you stop on the stairs, you can fucking whip. I, I, for some reason, I have this memory of not being able to attack on the stairs. What, why is that? What, where, where was that? All right, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bitch, why? Oh, okay, jump, jump. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I have this weird memory of just always dying on, a, on some stairs or some shit. There's a pork chop here. No? Damn memory. Oh, shit. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Go upstairs, man. Pop, oh, pick that knife. Uh, 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 oh, bitch! Do you see the perfect placement? That was horse shit! He hit me, I hit the fucking hole. Wow. Another thing I didn't like about Castlevania was that you can't jump on the stairs. You can't just like jump and push up and be wherever you like, like right here. I should be able to just jump. Bow, he's on the stairs. Nope. You have to actually go to the bottom stair and put your dumb ass foot up. All right, here we go. Oh, I need a soundtrack of this shit. I need, I need somebody to put this on a CD for me. This shit is... Who uses CDs anymore? What the fuck am I talking about? Bitch, this isn't the 1980s still. What the fuck is wrong with me? You can easily go and find a fucking MP3 of this shit. Oh! Shit, I forgot not to jump here. Oh. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. How could you play this game and not love it? I mean, just the sounds alone is enough to get you rocking. Like, oh, Medusa heads. Jesus Christ. How do we forget about these things, man? Oh, my God. All right. I'm not gonna really make it anywhere right now. I, I already know. Uh, I mean, I remember a lot of this, but uh, zombies. Yeah, I remember the zombies. Oh, this game is fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. I think I probably like it because like 90% of the time, uh, time I want to drop a freestyle on it. Shit, it's hot. Oh, the little flea dudes, I hate them too. Yeah, most most of the monsters, this is what I like about Castlevania. Most of the stuff in Castlevania was legitimately like you saw it, was like, oh shit. Like, not like, oh, I'm scared, but you saw it like, oh shit, I don't want them to kill me because I'm playing a game where I don't want to die yet. Oh shit, I'm about to die. Wow, that was apropos for the moment. So I most certainly am about to die. I just wanted to make it to the castle for real. Just to, just to show you that I have the skills to make it. You know, it really doesn't mean anything, but, you know. Because, you know, we play games for fun. We don't play games, you know, for any kind of particular reason. Other than fun. You know? A lot of people like to speed run. A lot of people like to get their, you know, get their, get their little wetness. Oh, it's a boss shit. Is this Frankenstein? I remember. Oh, no, it's that one dude. I don't like his ass. Oh, shit. Oh my god. I... Alright. So, Castlevania 3. Dope ass game. This is my second personal favorite to Symphony of the Night. Oh no, it's my first personal favorite to Symphony of the Night. My second favorite Castlevania game, which is Castlevania 4. I'm gonna have to stop the video in a little bit. Uh, Cause I don't have time to show you every single game, but if you don't remember Castlevania 4, this is the one where Simon can whip in like different directions. Like he can whip up and down, left, right, diagonally, diagonally down. Great game where you can like swing off of stuff. It, this was like the quintessential Castlevania game that we were waiting for back in the day. Excellent game. 
excellent day. It was fantastic. Uh, I would get into playing. It's a little longer though. Like I said, I don't have that much time, guys. Uh, I just kind of want to finish this out and go through the rest of them with you. Uh, this one here is the Castlevania Adventure. It was on the Game Boy. I played this so rarely, I can't even tell you. I don't even think I ever beat this game because, I mean, it was Castlevania and the Game Boy. The only time I was really playing it is when I was like in the car or, you know, in my room or something. If you remember, the Game Boy was like this big of a screen and then on top of that, like you had to, it didn't have a light on it. So you had to like have all your lights on in your house and be staring at it in, in your face. As a kid, it was cool. But then, like, other things started coming out. And I was like, why? I'm not going to sit here in the dark or in the, you know, halogen light bulbs, 10 million watts bleeding on me while I'm trying to... No, it just wasn't happening. So I kind of I kind of didn't play these that much. Same thing with Belmont's Revenge. I had it. I just didn't play it that much. I always thought that if I had it and I wanted to play it, I had it right there to be able to use and play if I wanted to. And I just never did because I was always doing something else. Castlevania Bloodlines. I did have this on the Genesis. Um, I don't remember if I've ever beaten this one. It was so long ago. I really don't remember. Uh, so this might be something we should get into on the channel. Uh, getting into Castlevania Bloodlines. Because it is October and I do want to bring some scary stuff to you guys. I just don't want to bring the same stuff to you guys as everybody else. So, uh, but this this one right here was, uh, was, was the one. This was the one where it changed the game before Super Castlevania 4 and well before Symphony of the Night. Because it was, it just seemed like a much better game. The way it was put together, the way it was made, all the, you know, the different enemies that you will find and fight. It just seemed like a really, really good game. And it, today I can tell you, it was. It was a really good game. Not as good as Super Castlevania 4, not as good as Symphony of the Night, but an excellent adventure. Uh, after this one on the collection, we have Kid Dracula. I have... Uh, Kid Dracula on my Famicom and I've never played it. I just I didn't see the reason to hop into it and play it. Just even though it, people were like hey, it's a Castlevania game. I just it doesn't feel that way. It feels to me like a kitty version of like I don't know some other game. But it is a Castlevania game because Kid Dracula is Dracula's son, just like Alucard is Dracula's son, and that's Dracula backwards. Uh, so yeah, I never got a chance to experience this one. I probably am not going to play this one, guys, unless you guys request it. I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to play this. Uh, it just doesn't seem like something that I would enjoy or uh, that I would have fun keeping you guys entertained watching. I just, it just seems like something just to watch, you know? Uh, instead of play. So, I mean, if you really want to see this, you know, from me, because, you know, my special particular take on most things is fantastic. So, if you want to see me play it, thumbs up this video. Let's get to, like, 40 likes. I know that doesn't seem like a lot of likes, but let's get a couple likes on it, and, uh, and I might end up playing it. If not, hey, you've done me a favor. And then this collection also comes with a bonus book. I want to show you the bonus book real quick. It's actually really good. So here's the table of contents. We've got a few minutes here. It goes through all the games that are in the collection. It goes through the feature titles by showing you the, the art on the, um, on the games, like the uh, American version and the Japanese version. And then uh, it does some personal interviews with people who actually help make the game. Uh, and... It's got a few like research reports where it talks about like certain places in Castlevania and some of the design archives, which is like pictures of uh, you know them coming up and formulating how J uh, Castlevania is gonna work. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot through them real quick. Let me get rid of this. Oh, got rid of itself. Bang. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. So it's Castlevania, Castlevania Two. Uh, those are the Japanese ones up there up top. Uh, Castlevania 3 and 4. Uh, those are the Japanese versions up top. Uh, Castlevania Adventure and Castlevania Belmont's Revenge. Those are the Japanese versions up top. Same thing with these. Castlevania Bloodlines. Uh, Kid Dracula. 
and the European version right there, the new generation Castlevania. That's just telling you the controls of the games. Kid Dracula. And then the special discussions that people have had with the makers of Castlevania. That's pretty dope. This dude looked like Dracula. <laughs> this is an emo Asian dude. Like I, he, he looks like if I saw him in the alley, he would try to suck my blood. Wait, what? Okay, anyway. Uh, and then it, it gives a breakdown of like who is Kid Dracula, Eric's past, the history of Castlevania, the chronology, uh, the people that are in Castlevania, who they married, the kids that they had, Dracula and his kids. So it, it goes uh, really in depth and it's very thorough in explaining, you know, who the Belmonts are, the secret of the legendary Belmont whip. Just give you so much uh, things to wet your whistle about Castlevania if you're a huge Castlevania fan, which I am. Uh, also, I wanted to go into uh, just a few more things if I can be quick. Uh, this is some artwork of of how they formulated the things that you see in Castlevania. This collection is extensive and it's deep and I love it. It is fan friggin' tastic. This game is absolutely worth every single penny you spend on it. Castlevania Anniversary Collection. If you really, really, really want to get into some Castlevania lore and love. So with that being said, uh, really quickly, I just want to show you, I have a couple minutes before I get cut off here. I just want to show you the newer Castlevania games that have come out. Uh, let's see here. Actually, I can't even do that. Jeez, I don't have enough time. Ah, well, maybe in the next video, I'll uh, explore it to like Castlevania Area Sorrow uh, and some of the other Castlevania games on some of the other systems that took up uh, the Metroidvania of, uh, of Castlevania. Before Symphony of the Night, they used to be all linear, where you just basically go through the castle and then you get Dracula and kill him. Ever since Symphony of the Night, they did more of a, you go here, find something, go back, it opens the door there, it lets you go deeper, and then you can go there, find something, and come back this other way. And that's called Metroidvania, allowing you to go back and forth in order to figure out what you can do in Castlevania. So there are a couple more games like that. So what we're gonna do is, on the next time we do this, uh, we'll make sure that we cover those. So I thank you guys for watching, thank you so much, and I will see you again real soon on the next one. Peace.